Tarzan of the Apes, from the novels by Edgar Rice Burroughs, with Mr. James H. Pierce as Tarzan, and Miss Joanne Burroughs as Jane Porter. This is an American Gold Seal production, coming to you over the World Broadcasting System and its associated stations. Jane and Tarzan, acting upon the advice of Lieutenant Darno, have succeeded in blowing up a section of the sacred temple cave of the cannibal tribe and have liberated Jane's father, Professor Porter, and his party. Reattacked by the cannibals, they successfully beat off the attack and scale an almost perpendicular wall of rock to escape. They run into a lion's den. With a blood-chilling roar, one of the brutes charges. Now, are you ready? Hold your breath! steps from beyond the circle of the others, new mother lion leaps for the Englishman's back. Before Darno can raise his rifle, Tarzan springs. The ape man lands full on the tawny brute's shoulders. One bronzed arm reaches under the dripping tar. Tarzan pulls the great head back. He holds it in a vice-like grip. Numa lunges forward, tries to throw the ape man over his head, but Tarzan holds on. Now the infuriated group throws itself on the ground. <laughs> Snapping towards the pointed, gleaming fangs, graze Tarzan's shoulder as they roll on the ground. Darno raises his rifle. He's uncertain what to do. Tarzan and the lion move too quickly to give the Frenchman a chance to aim. Again, Numa pounds to his feet. Tarzan still pushes the pony mane in iron fingers. Philander rushes forward, pulls Clayton out of the way. Tarzan has his knife out. He pulls Numa's head back farther, farther. Numa gasps for breath. Again, the lion rises on its torches. Now, Tarzan raises his arm. Seeming blade flashes down. Again and again. The cold fighting steel sinks into the lion's side. The great head sags. The yellow eyes glaze and deaden. Numa is dead. Tarzan leaps aside as the lion slumps to the ground. He has no eyes for the group. Again, he's one of the tribe of Kerchak, one who has made his kill. Tarzan! Tarzan! Are you hurt? No. Positive, you're all right. That lion scratched your shoulder. I'm all right. Yes, yes. Look at Clayton. I, 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 I'm seeing things. No, no, Daddy. That wasn't your fever. You really saw it. Are you all right, Clayton? Yes, I think so. But shaking in the knees. I didn't see the, the brute at all. Of course, Clayton. Now, sit down. Rest. How's that? Yes. We must get the fire going. That will keep the lions off. And lie down and rest, all of you. Tarzan and I shall keep watch. But I can't rest, Lieutenant. I'm all upset. And I know Daddy's fever is getting worse. Now, Mademoiselle Jane, you have behaved wonderfully. Do not break now. I won't, Lieutenant. I won't. And as for your father's fever, it is characteristic that it should be worse at night. Some more killing would be in order. All right. Here, Archimedes. Uh, Jane, Philander, I, I really am dazed already with taking so much of the stuff. Joe, that fire looks good. I guess my nerves are about gone. Everything is dancing, swimming before my eyes. And come close to the fire. In fact, everyone move as close as he can for warmth, but mostly so that Tarzan and I can keep an eye on everybody. Really, Darno, I don't see how you and Tarzan can keep watch all night. You must be as tired as anyone. Can't I share the watch? No. Tarzan, not tired. Well, I admit that I am tired, but by no means sleepy. However, Monsieur Philander, if I feel that I must rest, I promise that I shall awaken you. All right. By the way, there's no reason why we shouldn't have a little coffee. Always a good stimulant. There's nothing left to eat, but coffee might help a lot. 
Hey, what old chap is our English friend, I say? An excellent suggestion, Philander. Oh, will you make it, or shall I? I'll make it. By the way, my water bottle's empty. Well, le voilà. Take mine. Thanks. Feeling any better yet, Monsieur Clayton? Why? Oh, I think I'll be all right. You know, I feel like a perfect fool. No, you should not feel that way. After all, you know... Oh, yes, I know, I know. Being chivied by a lion isn't a nice experience. And being rescued by our ape friend doesn't help. Listen to me, Clayton. Well? You have a bad bout of fever. Ah, yes, but you have. Now, one of the best ways to shake off fever is to take things easily. Do not allow yourself to become so excited. Well, I'm doing my best. No, you are not. Not doing your best. You're too good a man to waste your energy getting angry about Tarzan. Wait, Scott, Dono. I'm sick and tired of hearing the fellow's name. Ah, maybe you are, maybe so. But you are not improving your standing with Mademoiselle Jane by those outbursts. Now listen to me, Dono. There are some things I won't discuss. There are limits to which even friends such as we are. Pardon, pardon, sir, done them all. I shall speak no further. Eh uh, bien, uh, how is the coffee, Monsieur Villard, dear? Just about ready. Here it is. You, Donna, hold the cups. Right. Mademoiselle Jane? Thank you. Monsieur le professeur? I think Daddy's asleep. Oh, good. Then. You take this one, Monsieur Clito. Thanks. If we... Tarzan? What is it? It's coffee, Tarzan. It will warm you up. Try some. Monsieur Tarzan has never drunk coffee? No, Lieutenant. Tarzan has never tasted good food. Tarzan, you will have to get used to eating food cooked by fire. Take the coffee. All right, then. One for you, Dono. One for me. Mm, but that is good, Monsieur Finlandier. It, it does hit the spot. Like it, Tarzan? No, Jane, it's hot. Tarzan never drank hot water before. Tarzan, look. There. A pair of eyes gleaming at us. I am. But I don't think he will come closer. He's too close now for comfort, Tarzan. You want to shoot? I, I do not want to. But if he comes any closer, I'm going to... If he comes any closer, I will shoot an arrow. Gun makes too much noise. Correct, Tarzan. I do not want to make any more noise than necessary. I mean, there is no use in attracting the blacks here if it can be avoided. It's, it's moving. It does seem to be moving closer. Oh, thank goodness. He's turned aside. Numa very hungry or very angry. Certainly not afraid. Imagine that brute daring to come right into the light of this fire. Arno, look down into the hollow there. What do you see? Light. Flashes of light. Torches. The blacks? Yes, looking for us. Don't think Goman Ganny will try to come up here now. Oh, we could easily pick them off if they did come. There is only that one narrow gash in the rock. No, I do not think they will try. Couldn't they work their way around? I mean, uh, on the outside? Oh, it would take one day. No, no, no. They will come the other way if they come up at all. Oh, I don't seem to be able to get any rest. I know I'm childish. But I have a horrible fear. But, my dear young lady, you have been truly magnificent. You have shown, how shall I say, remarkable courage. It is not surprising that now comes this reaction. But it isn't that. Oh, I don't know what it is. Surely nothing can happen that would be as bad or worse. And yet, oh, I can't throw off this, this smothering feeling of impending danger. Jungle fever. Night. Cold. Numa. Tabor. Jungle feeling, Jane. Oh, I wish I felt that way, Tarzan. But no, it isn't that. It's something you don't know. Something you've never felt. A cold, unreasoning terror. A stark fear that will not be forced back. A horrible, cold, clutching sensation. No, 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 Mademoiselle Jane. Here, drink this. There. That's better, Miss Park. <laughs> yes, thank you. You see, the others are. Oh, I wish I could There, see. there, now, do not worry. If you would rather talk, then talk. I think a few more sticks on the fire. Now, is that better, Jane? No, no. It's definitely... Yes, soundly. You know, you're both frightfully good fellows. You've never once thought of your thing. 
Everything, everything is static and for me, or dead. Now, Mademoiselle Jean, I beg of you, if you must talk, then let it be some other topic of conversation. But I feel that I must talk. Oh, I've been so disappointed in Cecil. I did hope that... Oh, well, you can't understand. I understand. Before, Cecil was a different Tarman Ganny. I know, yes. Before, like Numa. Now, not like Numa. I see, but Tarzan, do not forget... Monsieur Platon is not in his right mind. And if his constitution had not been what it is, he would have died. But Lieutenant... I know what you would say. You are going to quote your father, home, Monsieur Veranda. But, my dear young lady, the stronger a man is, the more this accursed African fever grips him. No, no, no. Forget Monsieur Platon's recent actions. For when he is well, he will be sorry. Yes, I suppose you're right. What was that? It was Sheeta. Perhaps he has made a kill. Oh, I ought to be used to the jungle nights by now, but, oh, they are always so horrible. And then, then it's feeling that something terrible is going to happen to me. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't speak of it. You've had so much to bear yourself, Lieutenant. But I just have to talk to someone. No, no. Nothing will harm you, Jane. I am here. It, it is a threat of something from which not even you can save me. It makes me cold with threat. Oh, Mark, retreat. I shall build up the fire, Ma. There. There. Is that not now, Peter? Yes. Yes, the, the light is as welcome as the warmth. Oh, it's so dark. So dark out there. Oh, look. Look. Look at Daddy. 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 Oh, Daddy. Daddy, he's dying. Daddy, look at me. Speak to me. Oh, Daddy. Daddy. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, Daddy. Daddy. Daddy, don't leave me. Don't leave me, Daddy. Don't leave me. Will Professor Porter's collapse? Delay the party's return to the hut so that they may miss the cruiser? And what about the cruiser? Can it be possible that it has been...